All right, guys, I've been getting a lot of requests about our bait tank. So today I'm going to basically just show you the tools that you need to build the tank and just kind of go over the process, I guess. And I will include a list of all the materials um, that I got on Amazon. So we'll start out with the tank. Here we go. So first we have a Tsunami 500 gallon per hour um, pump, which you can get on Amazon. And this is basically like a little converter that will take your, I use a DeWalt battery, but you can get them for different types of batteries. So it takes that 20 volt DeWalt battery and it will drop that 20 volts down to 12 volts to run the pump because it is a 12 volt pump. Um, it probably will run on the 20 volts, but you know, it could blow out over time, which you don't want. Um, this here is just a little plug. You don't really need it. I got these uh, heat shrink crimps on there, um, but you know, you can wire it straight up. You don't really need the plug. The crimps are good, so the salt water doesn't get into the wires because salt water will chew everything up. So we have our pump here. Then we have a three quarter inch hose with one, two hose clamps. Um, what I put to uh, basically seal the pump in is the 5200, 3M 5200, uh, the Fast Cure, uh, super strong stuff. Um, this is pretty much all you need to actually build it. Um, this is just a bit that can kind of, you know, you can get the exact hole that you need, uh, the exact size, you want it to be a tight fit. So, but yeah, so there's a pump and then here's just a drain plug. We've got the drain plug. I put the 5200 around the drain plug and also there's a 5200 little bead. Um, I didn't use 5200 in the hose. I didn't feel like I needed it. The hose clamps did the job. And then I used uh, stainless steel hardware for, you know, to secure the, the battery mount and everything onto the actual can. So this is a 20 gallon bait tank, which I use just the Amazon um, garbage can, a white one. Or yeah, you, so. Or you can use any type of color. Yeah, you could use any color you want, but I figure the white um, won't, be won't hold as much heat as say like dark gray or something like that. Um, but yeah, so this is our bait tank. I uh, will include a video of it in action. Um, but yeah, also, that's that's pretty much it. Also, um, if you want, you can tie it to um, the um, hose clamp. Yeah, so you can tie it to the handle. But we did that, but it broke off. Yeah. Yeah. So your so your lid don't blow away, right? Yeah. But yeah. Um, another thing is the battery on this tank typically lasts uh, with that pump. I would say about four hours, um, but you know, it beats the crap out of lugging a big old car battery around, which is kind of why I chose to go with that setup. But yeah, I'm super happy with it. Um, I hope this answered all your questions. If you have any more questions, just go ahead and you can message me on Instagram at inshoreboysfishing. And please do not forget to subscribe, uh, comment, share the video and you know give us a thumbs up we appreciate you guys so then we'll catch you all in the water main reason i went with this pump is to create that natural current because the bait do a lot better when you have that natural current so yeah this is a great all-around setup that won't break the bank